Hello friends, welcome to my channel Fusion Next Gen Learning. If you're first time viewer on my channel, subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon to get latest update from Fusion Next Gen Learning. In today's demonstration, we are going to cover one more business requirement: how to default warehouse while creating the sales order using the order management extensions. So I've created one extension and I'm using the business unit, the order type to default warehouse for my orders. So let's begin with the solution. So I'll try to create one order. So let me quickly create one order and I will enter my order type. I'll enter my item detail. After that, if I go, let me add it. And I will do reprice. And if I go to the lorry icon, and if I click on the supply, you will see that currently I am having warehouse as a null. So I'm utilizing if my warehouse is null, then based on the order type and the business unit, it will default my warehouse detail. So if I try to save the record, it will automatically pick my warehouse detail while creating the order. So this is also very good solution which you can implement if you have the complex requirement like you have many warehouses, many BUs, you can use the order management extensions to implement for your business. It will avoid the pre-transformation rule so that you don't need to create the pre-transformation rule and it will always be default based on your conditions. You can add many conditions in the extensions based on your business uses. So let me quickly walk you through. So what I have written to the extension, I am using the order management extensions to implement my solution. So I have written the, I am importing the extension messages. And then after that, I am validating the exceptions. After that, I am checking the business unit. So from the business unit, get it from the header as a business unit name then warehouse warehouse one i am getting from the fulfillment organization code so get the attribute called as a fulfillment organization code so a string order type code so i am getting from the header the attribute called the transaction type code now if Business unit and warehouse. So business unit name, the SP business unit and warehouse one is null and order type code is B2B. So I'm utilizing these two condition along with the warehouse. So if warehouse is null, then only it will trigger the conditions. And after that, I have written the header set attribute. So at the header level, it will set the attribute fulfillment organization code as this SP0001. So same way you can use, so wherever I use the code, you have to mention the code. Wherever I use the name, you have to use the name. Then header get attribute lines. And then I have written then while line as the next. And if header having the lines, so I have ended my condition. So this is entire the code you have to write in the extension and you have to use it on save. So I use on save based on your business need. You can utilize it better. You can write it on save. So whenever user trying to save that record, it will default the warehouse while creating the orders. So let me show you. If I go to the setup and maintenance and within the setup and maintenance, 
if I go to the search, the task, manage order extension percent. So manage order management extensions. So if I go to the save, and if you see that, the condition I have written, so let me little bit zoom it. So I am utilizing these conditions, these code to default my warehouse based on the business unit as well as the order type code. So same code you can use and implement to your business. Thank you. Thank you for watching my channel, Fusion Action Learning. Keep subscribing, keep watching, happy learning.